Hey guys, welcome back. Tic Tac here, bringing you your requested skill guide, part one. It's going to be four parts. This is part one. It's too big to do in one video. Um, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to keep it short, going to keep it simple, going to keep it nice and easy for you guys. But this is all going to be about skill trees. The whole thing is going to be about the first two skill trees. That's what we're going to do today. So let's get right into it. Skill tree, tier one. Here we go. When you start the game, when you start the game, this is where you start. Boom. You level up your constructor. Then you have to take this path, guys. You have to. Okay? You're going to pick up all these points. All right? Then once you get here... Sorry about that. Once you get here... Things you can... It's not letting me zoom out for some reason. Oh, there we go. So here you can change... Hey guys, welcome back. Tic Tac here, bringing you your requested skill guide, part one. It's going to be four parts. This is part one. It's too big to do in one video. Um, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to keep it short, going to keep it simple, going to keep it nice and easy for you guys. But this is all going to be about skill trees. The whole thing is going to be about the first two skill trees. That's what we're going to do today. So let's get right into it. Skill tree, tier one. Here we go. When you start the game, when you start the game, this is where you start. Boom. You level up your constructor. Then you have to take this path, guys. You have to. Okay? You're going to pick up all these points. All right? Then once you get here... Sorry about that. Once you get here... Things you can... It's not letting me zoom out for some reason. Oh, there we go. Alright, so the, here you can change things around. Alright? Um, you can change things... So here you can change things around. All these are going to be uh, these first 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these 15 skills every single person is going to have, these first 15. Then you're going to move into here. Now how it branches out is the top red one is soldier. The top blue one is constructor. This middle one is basically everybody. Everybody's going to take these points. Bottom is outlander. And this is ninja. So you can, you end up with very personalized classes. Um, what a lot of people thought was certain classes can only get certain abilities, and that's not true. So if I wanted to, I could take my soul. All right, so first, let's take a look at these uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 skills. All right, so for your first 15 like levels. All right, so the first one is allows constructor to join your hero squads. So this is the first character you'll play in the game. Whatever. This gives you um, the weak point thing on your uh, pickaxe. Unlocks your first two survivor squads: fire team alpha and EMT squad. So that brings you here. Unlocks this. Unlocks this. We talked about in my last video that these boost your stats. All right. Let's go back to skills. This is research page, which is down here. We're, we're not there yet. Um, fortitude gives you more health. Offense, obviously offense. Backpack size. Resistance. Tech. Basic stuff. All right. This allows you to recycle and unlocks your collection book. Again, stuff we went over in my first video. Uh, unlocks your rifleman in your home base. Again, stuff we went over. Unlocks the mission defender and secure slot. All right. So basic stuff. So then you get to here. And you have a couple options. First, you have to take this dirt bike. This is for expeditions. I talked about this in my last video. I'll post a link to everything. Um, this expedition lets you get resources, but without you actually farming. They go out, they get it for you. Then you have a choice. So say if you're playing an offensive character, you can go up. If you're playing a soldier, you go up. Unlocks lead engineer, corpse engineering. This is just to boost your home base number. This number up here, uh, behind my face, this number, this number up here, that number is your home base level. So every time you can slot somebody else into your home base, you get more, like a higher home base level, which increases your stats and stuff. So, you know, it's good. So you're going to take either either route at this point. So we'll just talk about me. I went this way. Then I went up to here. Party Fortitude. Offense. Unlocks the silencer slot in the Team Alpha, team, Fire Team Alpha. Then offense, fortitude, airstrike, everybody can get this. Most people do. Uh, mission defender slot, tech, I'm not too big onto the tech. 
and this levels this right here allows me to evolve my soldier to star level two so if we go to heroes and we go to star soldier we go view evolution this is what i need to evolve them all right i don't even have all the training manuals i gotta get more but i need to you would need to uh, put a point into this to evolve them now here is the problem i'm having with the game so say i want to eventually max out an outlander all right but not first like first i want to do my soldier okay so i'm spending all the points and remember guys there are a ton of points okay um i want to spend all my points into offense and assault rifles and damage and stuff like that but okay, down the line, I want to play as an Outlander, or I at least want an Outlander leveled up. You know, it's it, he's he makes farming a lot easier. So if I go this route and I put a point into here, and then let's say I want some fortitude and stuff, so I go all the way up to here. Now I'm already, I'm already, uh, now I'm kind of at a crossroads. The only way to level up your constructor to for him to hang out with you in the end game is to put a point here. But you can't do that if you say you want to do this so it makes you choose what character you want to level up next and I'm not sure if I like that because it shoehorns you into it It doesn't give you an option there's no respec button or anything like that you know so I'm not too big of a fan of that um, not sure how that's gonna work I guess hypothetically let's say you get to end game you're level 100 and you're still getting points then you could maybe come back and take your level 15 outlander and play him in low level missions and get more points and eventually do that that's assuming that you get points forever and ever and ever i don't know i don't know if that's a i don't know if that's a thing uh you know game's still too new um all right so let's just go over a few more skills mission defender slot again it brings you back to your, your squads Adrenaline, adrenaline rush. So almost everybody's gonna have this. This is a heal. This main tree, everyone's gonna pick because you have to spend a certain amount of points in the game or in the skill tree. You just can't go one way and then get to the next stage. It just doesn't work like that. So this is uh, upgrade recyclers, gunslinger slot. Uh, transformations I talked about that in my last video pickaxe tool rowboat and tactical operative slot so that's that then once you get here you get to open up skill page 2 let's check out research here real quick video is getting kind of long it's almost at 10 minutes so let's burn this out real quick guys all right so uh, research here this is your first point this unlocks the whole thing then I went up here, offense, 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 unlocks a slot. Anything with this person symbol, and then the little symbol of what it is, unlocks somebody in your squads, all right? Uh, improves our offense, party offense, party inf offense, backpack size, and um, better rowboats for your expeditions. Now, I'm gonna go up here, so I'm gonna do all fortitude and all damage. That's my goal, all right? I can't go to research tier two, I have to spend 20 points into the entire thing. So if you're going Outlander, this is the tree you want to follow first. This one is for probably the Constructor. Like the Constructor will want to go here and here, all right? Like that's what he's going to, going to probably want to do. A Ninja is probably going to go here and maybe here. I'm not sure. Tech on a Ninja, not really sure. We're here and here on a Ninja. You know, stuff like that. That's how that's how you're going to want to rock. And that's that's it, guys. That's, that's it for the skill tree. We're going to do two and two next time. Um, once I get some more points, once I level up some more and understand more about the pathing, we're going to answer that question that's bugging me of um, which way to go or how do you level up two characters basically. So I'm not sure about that. Uh, this is just a quick look if anybody wants. This is how I'm leveling up my soldier. I have 17 points because I have no idea what to put it into. No clue. I don't need it and I'm worried that it's going to bite me in the ass at the end game. So I'm saving up for as much as I can. Um, this is the main tree. This is just a quick look at skill tree too. This is the main tree that most people are going to put points in. Once again, soldier, constructor, outlander, and ninja. So 
that's just a quick look at mine if you're curious or which way I'm going I'm doing a ton of damage if you want to take a look I'm almost at 200 offense um, I use under leveled weapons and I still destroy everybody it's a lot of fun I'm glad I picked soldier but I do want an outlander for late game farming I do want an outlander so thanks so much guys keep it tuned anything you want let me know I'm gonna come out with gameplay later on today as well keep it locked Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was insightful and helpful. Everything will be down in the description below. Tic-tac out.